Well, hello, Showline Church. This is your uh, Wednesday devotional for March 10th, and we're just continuing our walk through the book of Proverbs. We're looking at Proverbs chapter 10 right now. Uh, right near the beginning, there's a really interesting portion that addresses kind of work ethic, how we handle resources. Proverbs, because it's about wisdom, deals with real life stuff. And, and if there's few things more real life than our resources and how we handle them. And so listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 10, beginning in verse two. Ill-gotten treasures have no lasting value, but righteousness delivers from death. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. He who gathers crops in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. And that would go for daughters too. This is ancient literature. One of the things I like to remind people about Proverbs is Proverbs are not set up to be sort of absolute laws or absolute promises. Proverbs are observations about life that give a general sense of how life works when we walk in the ways of the Lord. But they're not 100%, if you work hard, you'll always be rich. It's saying, by and large, generally speaking, people who work really hard do better financially, and people who work less kind of struggle financially. So, so understand that Proverbs, this kind of literature, even though it's inspired by the Holy Spirit, it's from the, the heart of God and it's absolutely true, it's absolutely true that these are general guidelines, not absolutes. I hope that makes sense because I'm not questioning the authority of Scripture. I'm saying let's not impose our standards of literature on a portion of the Bible that's meant to be general life guidelines. If you push them too far, you actually get in trouble. You, you can say to God, wait a minute, God, this promise didn't come true. Well, it's not a promise. It's a, an observation about how life works generally speaking, as we walk with the Lord or choose not to walk with Him and live with the consequences. So a couple observations here. First in verse 2. Listen to verse 2 again. Ill-gotten treasures have no lasting value, but righteousness delivers from death. Here's my encouragement. Earn with honesty. Earn with honesty. Money that's earned dishonestly will oftentimes just disappear. It'll disappear because it just wasn't earned well and it kind of you fritter it away, or it may disappear because God shuts the doors. But be careful that you earn what you earn with honesty. And ask yourself, in my work, am I doing the best I can to, to have integrity and honesty? The second insight found in verse 3. Here's what verse 3 says. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. See, if you made that an absolute, you would say, any righteous person will never be hungry, and if you're ever hungry, you must not be righteous. That's not the point. That's misunderstanding Proverbs. But it is saying, generally speaking, that God looks out for those who are righteous, who are follow Him, and who follow Him, and He provides for them. And so here's an insight. Uh, there's provision for the righteous. God wants to provide for you. God delights to provide for you. And when you're provided for, pause and say, thank you, Lord. I appreciate all you've given to me. And then one last insight. And I, and I call this laziness versus hard work. And boy, in our world today, we need to hear this message. Listen to verses 4 and 5. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. He who gathers crops in the summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. If you work hard, God honors that. God provides. Now, there are people who work really hard. People maybe right now they are saying, I want to work hard. I can't find a job. Work as hard as you can at finding a job, and when you get it, work as hard as you can. I have three sons. They're all in their 30s now. And I tell my sons, if you are the best worker wherever you are in any calling you have, you show up a few minutes early, you stay a few minutes late, you give a hard day's work every day you have, man, God's going to open up doors. People are going to be saying, how do we advance you? How do we keep you around? I want to challenge you as a follower of Jesus. Be the hardest worker wherever God puts you. If it's working in the home, in the marketplace, in education, in law, in, in the food industries, in hospitality, whatever it is, give your best and watch how God watches out for you. I want to give you an invitation to join us for worship on Sunday. Uh, we are going to be look, going back to our Elijah and Elisha series. Now we're heading into a couple weeks on Elisha. And I want to challenge you to join us and hear what God has to say to you about walking in boldness, walking in courage as we learn from the example of Elisha. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word, for Proverbs, for this wisdom that can guide our lives. Make us people who hear your wisdom, who receive it, and who live in ways that will propel us toward the life you have planned for us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Enjoy the rest of your week.